You don't need to speak Spanish to understand Spanish. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your child while learning Spanish. So what exactly do I mean by the fact that you don't need to speak Spanish to understand Spanish? So to illustrate what I mean, I'm going to give you three messages. They're all the same, but I'm going to deliver them in three different ways. And I want you to see which message you actually understood or which approach helped you understand. So, okay, I'm going to say the message the first time. En mi casa yo tengo tres perros. El grande se llama Troy, la mediana se llama Helen y el pequeño se llama Achilles. Number two, second approach. En mi casa yo tengo tres perros. El grande se llama Troy, la mediana se llama Helen y el pequeño se llama Aquiles. Approach number three. En mi casa yo tengo tres perros. Uf, uf, uf. ¿Perros? El grande... Se llama Troy. La mediana se llama Helen. Y el pequeño se llama Aquiles. Now, which one of those approaches helped you understand the message? Obviously, it was the third one. And the reason why you understood it is because I used comprehensible input. Not only did I um, use obviously my dog's names and Troy, Helen, and Achilles um, that are something that you can relate to, but I also used a lot of gestures to help you understand what I was saying. That's why it's so important when you're teaching Spanish to your child to use messages that they can understand even if they don't know every single word that you're saying. Basically, because of the surroundings or whatever is going on, they understand the message without understanding every single word. The easiest way to make your input comprehensible or everything that you say comprehensible is to talk about real and meaningful things that are happening right now. Specifically with children, you need to talk about things that are happening right now. Um, it just helps them really understand what you're saying. The younger the child, the more concrete you have to be and the more in the now you have to be. So my challenge to you is to think of times during the day when you can use comprehensible input and write it down in the comments below. Tell us what your plan is to use Spanish at home. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you want even more resources, head over to bilingualfamily.us and sign up for our newsletter. And remember, second language acquisition is all about relationships. Adios.